Hello everyone, and today I am here to do a bucket coding tutorial, or bucket programming tutorial uh, series. Now, this will be, and <laughs> I'm just turning up the lights. <laughs> this will be a kind of informational series, and it does not really require that much basic knowledge of Java or bucket, but I do recommend having some sort of experience with it, uh, or else you may get confused if we go into higher end tutorials. For this one, you will have no experience needed. You just need bucket 1.7 or 1.8, depending on what you're uh, doing it for. Now, this tutorial should work for any version higher than 1.7. Now, if something does break, I will notify everyone in the description. And if it says disclaimer, that means there will be a link to another episode one, quote unquote, video. And you can go ahead and find your stuff there. Now, before I begin, you need to make sure you have Bucket and Eclipse installed. So, if you want to find Eclipse, just go to eclipse.org, or if the link is changed or something, that updated link will be in the description. Go ahead and click on it there in case it's not eclipse.org, and go to dl.bucket.org, or just search up Bucket 1.7 Download. You can find something there. Now, you'll have this program when you open. It'll have a different window, but I just got it here for the sake of, tuto of the tutorial. Now what you want to go ahead and do is, uh, you kind of want to close out a problems, javadoc, and declaration. Not really needed. Outline doesn't matter all that much, but I do recommend putting it off to the side a little bit. Just so that an outline is not available as on one line. If it goes like this, then you want to change it. You want to make sure entire outline and entire not available is all on the same line. Package Explorer, you can move in a little bit. Uh, and then you have a huge open workspace. Now what you want to go ahead and do is new Java project. Uh, you can do that by doing right click and going new, or you can go file new Java project. I prefer going over here and right clicking. Go ahead and name this what you want. I'm naming this episode one. I will not be creating packages in the future, so make sure you memorize how to do this. Go ahead and create your package. And I have this. Now what you want to do is go into here and then go hover over your source. And then click here and then do new package. Now I'm going to do me.defdude3549.episode1. So the way you do this is you do uh, me.yourname.whatever you're creating or programming. What I like to do whenever I code for a network or my own network, I like to do com. the first name of the network and then network. dot and then the name of the plugin. So if I was creating. Uh, Paradox Core, then it would be com.paradoxnetwork.core. And if I was coding for, say, uh, the Hive or Hypixel or something, it'd be com.hypixelnetwork.com and then whatever I was creating. So, go ahead and do this. If you want to do it this way, just to make a simple plugin for yourself, that's awesome. And if you are coding for an organization or creating a, uh, like a sort of bucket or spigot style project like creating a whole nother api for uh, servers then you would name it org dot the organization name but by that time you would not be watching this tutorial <laughs> so go ahead and press finish and you'll have this empty package you know that because it's all white now you want to go over here new class go ahead and name this whatever you want i'm going to name it main because i just name everything main if you want to change this i will probably maybe have a tutorial on how to change the coloring and everything my colors are definitely different but i can't remember how to do it now what you want to do is extend oh we can't do that until we um go up here now that we have our class created go into properties java build path libraries and add external jars go ahead and add craft bucket and maybe spigot to your thing or to your build path go ahead and press enter and go ahead and say extends java plugin and now you have to import that you can hover over it by doing this hovering over it, importing it by clicking or you can do command shift o or control shift o and that should be fixed yeah okay so now what you want to do is public void on enable and then just do that do a curly bracket go down and then you can say uh, we're just gonna make it say a message for if you're working with events, which we will cover later, then you can um, do some cool things to that. Now it, you want to do system dot out dot print and then something in here to print. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach you something that I learned kind of recently, which is kind of stupid, but <laughs> I did learn it recently. Go ahead and type in string prefix equals, 
and then these, and then go ahead and type that. So now you have a prefix string that you can specify. I'm going to say that that, I'm gonna say, this is not in game prefix that we're gonna have, we're gonna have a whole separate one for that. Uh, so we're just gonna rename this console, console prefix. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say episode one, cause that's the name of the plugin, colon and then space. Now you just wanna go ahead and copy this down, paste it in and then rename it to in I or IG prefix for in game. Now we can actually modify colors. You can do alt 21 if you're on a windows or alt six if you're on a Mac. And then you can use basic color codes if you do know how to do that. So go ahead and add those in. This will be in the description. You can actually use chat color dot and then red or something and then plus and then do that. I prefer to do it this way because it's less typing for me. And there you go. So now you have this. You want to go ahead and do prefix or no, we can't do that. We have to do console console prefix plus and then right here always add a space just so you can not have to do a space in here and make it all awkward uh now go ahead and type in uh has been enabled perfect so now we can go ahead and copy paste this copy pasta this down here just go ahead and do disable go ahead and switch enabled to disabled and put a sad face oh no, sad face <laughs> Uh, okay, so now you have the on enabled on disabled you have some basic strings and you're extending it to Java plugin Now what you want to go is do go down here. <laughs> I, I butchered that go to do public boolean on command uh, And then go ahead and do these guys and do that So now it doesn't do anything, but we do have to add a return statement. So we run a return False I prefer false you could do true Working with things in the future, you do have to use true. Uh, so now what you want to do is you want to do command sender, sender, comma, and then what else would it be? It would be uh, command cmd, string, command label, and then comma, string, and then normal brackets, args. And that is that. So now you have to import command sender and you have to import command from or dot bucket dot command dot command not from the material you do not want to do material when you're working with this now you want to go ahead and do is type in if and then command label dot equals ignore case and then do that quotes and there you go so now you have a first basic command we're going to go right here and we're going to do player player equals sorry for the clicking of the keyboard i'm just spam typing there we go so now we're saying the player and we're importing player so player uh, which is imported from or dot bucket dot entity dot player and then we're specifying the name that we want to use equals then we're casting player to sender so that means player is equal to sender so instead of using sender dot we can use player or hold on we can use player dot and then something. So we're going to send them a message because we have a cool prefix. We're going to say uh, IG prefix plus that. Now it's going to be by default. It's going to be gray. So we want to actually fix that. We want to say that and then six. So it's automatically going to be in gold for in game prefix. And um, then we have to actually add a command. So I'm going to make this uh, episode one. You can name that whatever you want. I will teach it. Basic permissions, probably next episode, possibly in the future, but basic permissions are pretty simple. I know someone uh, that I used to watch did a very bad job of explaining it, and it, he just made it a lot harder than it actually was, so it did not look appealing uh, to have to do the work. And then I figured out, <laughs> you can just do it like this. Now go over to your outline, you can see that episode one is not there, I just noticed that. Oh man, so it doesn't really matter all that much anymore with on command. But you just kind of want to make sure that you can see. I'm just going to go ahead and close off main because we don't need the help of the outline right now. So IG prefix plus and then uh, U comma and then do a plus and then do player dot get name plus and then another quotes there. Um, have um have initiate okay not not initiated i can't spell today have uh activated act if 
activated. There we go. <laughs> have activated episode one. Okay, so now if they go ahead, we're going to say on command, and we're going to say command sender is sender, command is cmd, string is command label, and then string is args. That's how we get our arguments. So we're saying player player is equal to sender, so player is equal to sender, basically. Uh, and then if command label equals ignore case episode one, you always do equals ignore case, not equals, because then if they have an uppercase, say if we do that, we can still use a, an E, like a normal E. It doesn't have to be capitalized unless we do equals. Uh, and then we're going to say, we're going to send them a message, in-game prefix plus you, player.get plus player.get name. So we should probably do a space there. Always have to space when you do it like this because there is no way to do it. We, I, I suppose we could use a string. So we're going to do player name uh, equals uh, player.get name but we're not we like there's no way to specify a player right now so that's the i don't know you you could do bucket.get online players i will show that in a future episode like getting a player list getting a tps count all sorts of things you all sorts of things you can do with bucket so we're just gonna have a basic command and i might copy and paste this over for episode two and just work off of this every time but our progress if we ever do a project will always uh, be like, if we do an episode one, it's going to be in here. If we copy that, it would be an entirely new copied and pasted thing. So go ahead and create a file called plugin.yml after everything is done. Um, and not, not necessarily after everything is done. I rephrase that. Do it whenever you are ready to add another command. Go ahead and say name colon and then the name of your plugin episode one. That's mine. Then you want to do main equals me dot death dude three five four nine dot episode episode one has to be this exact statement up here. If it is not that, you will get all sorts of errors. That's what happened to me when I first joined. Did like not joined, but started Bucket uh, and working with Bucket, and I got so confused why it wasn't working because I just had this package and I had it spelled wrong, and I was using all sorts of weird declarations and all that but and i just had this that will get you an error in the console go ahead and type in dot and then the name of your main class file the only class file that you should have that extends java plugin is your main class and it, it has to be capitalized exactly like there's no way ever no way around that now these are the 100 essential essential things that you need here you need the name of the plugin the main class or where the main class is located and the version if you don't have this that your plugin will not work now you want to do commands and then go down here uh and i believe this is how you do it i could be wrong episode episode one i'm gonna actually confirm here let me steal this one right here uh nope <laughs> wrong one do I even have one that has commands? Are you kidding me? Right there. Oh, yep, yeah, this one definitely has commands if it's taking that long to load. Oh, people are calling me. Come on. Oh, okay, well, I suppose I'm just going to steal it from here. That's an old plugin.yml. Okay, well, we'll just take that. And hope you guys can't hear this. We're going to change this to episode one. It's an old, old, old project that I messed around with and we're just gonna say episode one that's the only command we don't need to do anything else um and go ahead and go over here press refresh if you do not press refresh you will die and you will have so many errors i cannot even count them go ahead and export this as a java jar file not a runnable jar file but a jar file then go ahead and select where you want to do this and name it whatever you want so i'm going to name this episode one dot jar go ahead and finish that and go ahead and say start and i'm actually going to delete this because that'll give me an error right now because i forgot to work on that plugin today <laughs> but yeah that's one of my old plugins so you have the start dot command it's going to start in just a second i'm running off a of spigot so you can obviously see that plugins work if you're just using bucket uh, but we actually did use spigot we didn't use it for anything but i just like to have it as insurance in case I watch a tutorial and then I do something that requires spigot. I'm just like, oh, why doesn't this work? So, yeah, there's many different errors you could possibly get. So, let's see. Episode 1, loading. And we're just going to go ahead and wait. It has to prepare the spawn a little bit. Uh, okay. 
So as you can see, this is just a normal system.out.print because it has our colon here that we specified. So we said has been enabled. So now you want to go ahead and load up and join your server, localhost. And it does have a few errors for me when I log in because of a few things I was working on. Go ahead and type in uh, that. So you see episode one is loaded. Episode one. So there's a command. So that means the command is working. There we go. So you, death through 3549 which is my in-game name, have activated episode one. And it is in nice colors because in the prefix, and as you can see down here, we don't have a prefix here. It's just, it's using the string. That's what happens with our console too. And it could play a sound if we wanted to, but I'm going to go into that for another episode. If you guys do want me to mess around with um, sounds and all that, I, I could. They're pretty simple to work with. So, pretty nice, pretty nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this programming tutorial or coding tutorial. Whatever I branded it, I'll know by the, uh, by the next episode. Uh, so, yeah, that is, that's it for my, for my amazing tutorial. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. If you do want these to continue, make sure to leave a like. Go ahead and comment down below what you want to see next episode. Most likely, it'll be something to do with sounds or permissions or just maybe config files or advanced, it, something cool. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all again next time. Bye-bye.